Hey everybody, so today I decided to do the random 50 facts about me tag. Um, I don't exactly have 50, I think I have 30, close enough. I couldn't think of 50 facts about me, very difficult. Um, so yes, yeah, so let's get right into this. So, number one, I have two sons. Um, my youngest one is right here sleeping, my oldest one is next to me watching Curious George. Uh, number two, I am very, 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 very scatterbrained. Like, I can be thinking of ten different things at one time. I can be talking about one subject and go off into a totally different one. And, yeah, it's crazy. And that is mainly because of fact number three. I have ADHD and I've had it ever since I was young. Yay for us. Um... Number four, I have two stepsisters. One of them is passed on. Um, the other one I recently connected with uh, about two years ago, I believe. Um, most people don't even know that about me, but yes, I have two stepsisters. Uh, five, I've had four different vehicles. I am 25. I'm going to be 26. Um, my first one was a Ford Probe. The transmission went out. My second one was a... Um, Plymouth Breeze, and it just kind of got old. Um, my third one was a Buick Skylark, um, that needed fixing and just didn't have the money to put into it, so we sold it. Um, my fourth one was a, uh, Pontiac Grand Prix, and then we are about to be getting another one soon. So that we can have two vehicles. So when I'm at work and stuff, my boyfriend has a vehicle um, to be able to take the kids places and stuff. Um, let's see. Number six. I've been driving since I was very young. Like, I want to say maybe like six years old. Um, our camp is like way in the woods. So we, and like cops don't go up there. The DNR maybe go up there twice a month, if that. So, um, we used to, like, get so far down the road and then we'd pull over and, um, obviously I was young, I couldn't reach the pedals and stuff, so we'd just sit on our parents' lap and, you know, they would operate the pedals and we would drive and first time I did it, I almost put us in the ditch because I did not know that you had to turn the wheel on a vehicle to make it go around the corner. I thought they just, cars just went around the corner. So I almost put us in the ditch, and then we used to, um, used to, like, when we were maybe 10, 11, 12, we used to take the vehicle ourselves and go driving down, um, the one road, the road next to us, where my camp is, and bring in, and tying that in, um, so this is another fact. So this would be, uh, seven. Um, so, if my, my grandma, um, down the one road where, um, there's a bunch of land and stuff and properties, my grandma actually used to live there. That's where she grew up. Um, but as the kids got older and everything, they kind of sold it off to separate it into the family and sold it as, you know, the property in chunks. Um, so some of our family members still own part of that, and then she bought, uh, area up the road as as a camp um but she also had uh like a private beach area but she sold that off so if she would have never sold that off our family would have had our very own private beach which would have been awesome but she didn't think about future she just needed money and was thinking about the money and stuff and she sold it I really wish she wouldn't have, but she did. Uh, so number eight brings us to, um, I'm originally from the Upper Peninsula. I live in North Carolina now. The Upper Peninsula is Upper Michigan, um, or the UP. Most people don't even know where we're at, don't even know that there's an Upper Michigan, because, um, usually when you look on maps and stuff, Michigan is just labeled as Lower Michigan. Uh, that's like Detroit, Lansing, Grand Rapids, all of that. Um, so, yeah, but there's an Upper Michigan. We're there. Even though they don't like to label us, we're, we're like on the um, border of Wisconsin, Wisconsin and stuff. 
Um, so yeah. And since I live in the UP, that brings us to fact nine that I've been swimming in Lake Superior. You know, if you're from like Marquette and uh, I forget whatever else uh, is around Lake Superior, but yeah, usually they go swimming in it, but Lake Superior is cold. I think, if I am correct, Lake Superior is like one of the coldest lakes. Um, I think I would rather sit in the snow for, like, an hour than sit in Lake Superior, because it's cold. Um, so, fact number ten, when I was back home and before I had a family and everything, I used to take a lot of random trips, like, a lot. I mean, my friends would just be sitting there and like, hey, we're bored, let's go on a trip. So we'd just take trips everywhere, drivable distance, of course. Mostly it was under... Under at least three hours. Let's, okay, fact 11. My boyfriend is originally from Liberia, born and raised. Um, 12. I don't know what I want to do with my life yet. Um, I did go to college for a uh, medical office clerk certificate, um, but they were in the process of redoing the program. Didn't really tell anybody in the beginning. So, what turned into a two-year program with a certificate would have been a four-year program. Um, I already had plans to move. Um, half of the class, most of the classes I took, except for like two, maybe three would have been transferred over. So, I decided just to forget about it. Um, some college is better than none. I basically had just some basic classic classes. Um, so nothing really, you know, credential. Um, so, 13, I'm very, 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 very forgetful. I never used to be. I used to be very good at remembering stuff. Um, but since I've had my kids, my brain is just gone. Um... Fourteen, I'm really, really weird. My friends get it, my friends understand, but I'm really weird. Um, most people are just like, what the hell is her problem? Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just weird. So, yeah. Um, fifteen, I am very, very sarcastic. Um, I like to joke around a lot. Um, some people don't know when I'm not joking. It's like that serious. Like I joke around that much. And like so I'm just really got to be like close people to me. Really sometimes can't tell when I'm joking. So I'm just like no really really I was joking. And I guess I pull it out really good. I make it seem like you know even when I'm not joking. I guess it just seems like I am. So um <clears throat> 16, I wrote a book, um, in high school I started writing it, I never really finished it, um, back in high school, events, you know, drama, friends, um, things that took places, inspired me to write it, um, and then, I'd have to say maybe 11th grade, middle of 11th grade, I kind of fell off from it. I maybe wrote one entry since then. I really would someday love to publish it. It's like a series of short stories, but they all kind of combine together to make one whole story. Um, It's pretty cool. I like it. And I'm thinking about doing a series on here of reading entries from that book. Um, Either, like, each week doing, like, two entries or something. Um, so, yeah. I wrote a book. Um, 17. My first surgery ever was from my last son. I had to have an emergency C-section. I never, ever, ever wanted surgery. But I ended up having to get it. It wasn't that bad because they pumped me up with drugs. Yay! Um, so 18, I love, love, love to go camping. I have not gone camping for a long time, probably since I've been in Michigan. Um, but yes, I, we used to go camping all the time and we just, then, you know, life happens. 
So I haven't done it for a long time, but I would love to go again. Um, especially now that I'm in North Carolina and in the mountains and stuff, I think it'd just be awesome. Um, 19, I used to be a big tomboy. Like, I never wore tank tops. I never wore, like, spaghetti straps. I still don't really wear skirts. I do now sometimes. But, like, skirts, dresses, no heels, nah, really. But, um, because I never really got along with my older sister when I was younger. Um, so it was my me and my brother a lot closer. So it was always me and my brother and his friends. So I was just hanging out and doing guy things. So I was a big tomboy. 20, I love animals. Like, all animals, except for, like, insects. Spiders, you know, bugs, creepy crawlies, snakes. But other than that, any furry little creature I love. Um, 21, I never have been outside of the country. Um, I've been to Canada for a couple of hours, but other than that, I never, ever, ever left the United States. I would love to someday. I want to travel the world wide, but we'll see about that. Maybe sometime. Um, 22. I have, I think it's six. Let me see here. Oh, one, two, three, four. I have at least that I know of six famous people in my family. I don't personally know them. They're like, probably, I think some of them are dead, but yeah. Um,. The two of them, I don't really know their names, but I know they are um work with the uh, rodeo. Um, they're ropers. Um, they're the ones that do like when the horse comes out and then the calf cow runs, and they have to rope the calf and then tie its legs. The ropers, they do that. Um, they we used to watch the rodeos on TV. The um, oh shoot, I forget the name of it. Um, but yeah. There's two of them in there. I don't remember their names. And then I have my dad. Um, and it's on my dad's side too. Um, my dad's cousin is Charles Martin Smith. Um, he is. If you um Google him, he'll come up on Wikipedia. He was an American graffiti. Um, gosh, he's he's done so much. He um he's done a lot of movies. Um, I know American Graffiti, I think it's Cry of the Wolf, um, he's done, like, some, uh, seri I think he's done the, is it the Un Untouchables? Uh, that might not be the right name. And then his father was Frank Smith, um, and he was, an, like, an animator and stuff, um, he did, like, Popeye and Betty Boop and all that. And his, um, Charles' brother, Paul Smith, was a director, and he did, um, like, Woody Woodpecker, like, the whole series of Woody Woodpecker. He did, um, he did a bunch of other ones, too, mainly cartoons. And then, um, Hank Smith, which is Frank's other brother, he did, he was an animator, so he drew and stuff. Um, he did Mr. Magoo, Fat Albert. He done, um, Peanut for the Charlie Brown series. Um, he did, um, The Roadrunner. So, yeah, they, they did a lot of cartoon stuff-wise. So, most of the cartoons you watched as a kid, my cousins, basically, my cousins, did those, put those into action, drew them, whatnot. So yeah, thanks to me and my family. Um, <coughs> let's see. Um, what are we on? Twenty three. Um, I always wanted to be a model when I was younger. Obviously, that's not possible now. I'm not no size zero anymore. Um, twenty four. I have a lot. Oh, guy friends. I don't keep in touch with as many as I used to, 
but definitely do have a lot. You gotta get that kind of stems from when I was younger, hanging out with my brother, and always being around guys that I just kind of um uh got along with them better. Um, twenty five. People say I'm funny. People say I'm funny. I don't really think I am, but like mostly most people that I'm around, they're always like, "Oh, you're so funny." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Um, 26, I hate, hate putting away laundry. I can't stand, like, I had no problem doing laundry. Towels, when it comes to, like, towels and wash rags and stuff, I had no problem doing that, but I hate, like, I just now finished putting away my clothes that were in, like, uh, a play yard, the baby play yard, and it was, like, overfilled for, like, three months. Um, yeah, it was bad, but I hate it. I hate doing laundry. Uh, 27. I haven't seen my brother in, like, maybe three years. It might have been more. It might have been almost four years. Um, he is in the Air Force, so, um, he's kind of far away. So, I haven't got to see him in a while. And... 28. That brings us to 28. I have never, ever, ever yet have met... My sister-in-law, my brother's wife, he got married. Nobody knew it. Just called and was like, "Hey, I got married." And so, yeah, I mean, I I've talked to her on the phone and over Facebook and stuff. But I've never met her. Um, someday, someday though, someday I will. Okay, so twenty-nine. Um, let's see, what was twenty-nine? I think I might be done. Maybe I have less than 30. I can't remember. Um. Okay, yeah. So, I guess I only have, like, 29. Sorry for all the noise. Um. So, that's about all I can think of right now. Um. Oh! I know what one. I know what one. Sorry, sorry. Whoopsie, told ya. I'm very forgetful. I didn't write it down. Um. One of my other facts is I'm very good at, um, let's see, how do I put this? Adapting uh, accents. Um, off the top of my head, like, I'm not good at doing them, but, like, if I'm around the people, like, I don't even notice it. It's, like, instantaneously that I just start talking like that. Um, I remember when I was younger, I went to Texas, and I was there for, like, a week, and I came back, and seriously, for, like, a week in school, I, like, had this strong southern accent, and everybody's like, oh, you were down south, weren't you? And I was like, yeah. And then, like, same thing with my boyfriend, like, when we go see his family and stuff, like, I have a, like, I'll have a Liberian accent, uh, uh, you know, kind of start speaking, like, Liberian broken English and stuff, yeah. so it's pretty cool, I like it, hey, it's different, and I like it, so, yes, those are my 29 or 30 facts about me, uh, if I can come up with more, I'll do a part two probably, um, so, stay tuned for the next one, the next video, um, not sure what it's gonna be yet. I think I might be doing the boyfriend tag. Um, so watch out for that. Like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. Ask below and I'll answer them. Thank you.